All right, this overloads a well-placed one. What do you think I'm trying to do? Oh, okay. His... Ooh, this game is on easy mode. And by that I mean the easiest difficulty there is. Well, thankfully that blocks that. Let me just overload zap his arms to get them out of the way so I don't have to worry about the machine gun. Which is OP, by the way, on easy mode. I would never be able to beat this on hard mode. I mean, I would be, but my sanity and my blood pressure and my heart would just take so much. Yeah, 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 zap, zap the guy. And Wait, oh. Okay. His arm, oh. I thought his arm wasn't gone there. John. John. Hey, man, it's clear. Great. I save his life and he bails. We have two minutes, 45 seconds before they can triangulate my position. And I plan on being gone before then. So keep your mouth shut and listen. Not with the agents. Too undisciplined, too cocky. But I also know that you want the same thing I do. The Ray Sphere. You're gonna help me get it. So you know where it's at. One of my UAVs spotted it on top of Alden's tower. Find someone to help you retrieve it. Someone you can trust. One minute, 52 seconds. What do you want me to tell Moya? Who the hell's Moya? Uh, your wife? You are getting played. I've never been married and don't know anyone named Moya. One minute, 19 seconds. You're screwing with me, right? She's an FBI agent just like you. <laughs> FBI agent? Yeah, that'd be the day. I hate those bastards. You won't see me, but I'll know when you have the Ray Sphere. Once it's in your possession, we'll figure out how to destroy that damn thing. Zeke, you there? Listen, I really need your help with something. Ah, is that a fact? Well, you made it sound like I wasn't worth a damn. Look, we can't talk about this over the phone. Just meet me over by that big tower the transients are building, and I'll fill you in. Well, it turns out light sure, sure, man. man. Light things up See you there. Back in jail. Went down. Well, Paul doesn't give two rips. Why should he? None of this matters to him. Well, you, see me tr you saw me try. All right. All right, that's not too far. Uh, ooh, missions. Oh, snap, the third island's half. Oh, really? That's interesting. I don't have to... Wait, hold on. Hold on, everyone. I have one power. Okay, I have one power that I haven't unlocked, and I know exactly what that power is. Maybe we're closer to the end game than I thought. I uh, was looking on guides, not because I'm bad at the game, but because I'm bad at the game. Uh, and just just to get mainly, pretty much, primarily just get an idea of how much longer I have in here. And it uh, seems like I don't have that much... Well, I was like ooh, about 60% through during the uh, Trish mission. But uh, kind of beeline the main story missions. And I think I'm, I'm much closer. And honestly, if I can complete this story and get done with this game, I'd be fine. Because I do have to do an evil playthrough, which is going to take a lot of time and editing, and I'm looking forward to that. Well, for one, I'm going to be a lot better because I'm not, I don't have the LP tax, which is a real thing, totally. Check it out. No, seriously, it, it is, like, you're dividing your attention between talking and playing, and one skill suffers. Just, just try it, honestly. It's, <laughs> it's real. I was a little worried you weren't going to show. So what's going on? The Ray Sphere is up at the top of this tower. Once we have it, we're getting the hell out of here. You win. Come on, we need to climb up this damn thing. Head over to the elevator and I'll figure out a way to bring you up. Wow, another reason to not trust Bioware. Borderlands 2 has the exact same type mission in the beginning where you help out your uh, your friend who can't walk up a, 
<laughs> I can't. Uh, I'm joking, but honestly, in, in Borderlands, in Borderlands 2, uh, you've helped Claptrap up some areas with lifts and elevators Brandon because John, he can't go upstairs. He says he's not her husband. Never heard of her. What the hell does that mean? It means that one of them is lying. Just don't know which one. Damn it, Cole! I told you not to trust the feds. And you ain't still thinking about turning over the race fear to him, are you? John says he wants me to help him destroy it. Seems like a good idea to me. Destroy it? Yeah, right. I bet my bottom dollar he just wants to fire that baby up. Or sell it off to someone for some serious cashola. Honestly, uh, this this game happened in a different time. I think it was, I forget how many years ago. I did a video thing about that. I really have to go up there just to, this doesn't seem right. Hold on. Uh, I guess it is. Uh, admittedly, this game happened at a, uh, years ago. So there's a lot of stuff that happened between the release of this game and today. And I failed. Cool. Just reset me, whatever. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, FBI scandals and uh, oh, man, government shenanigans. I guess. Get going. Does it look like I'm standing around Cole McGrath? No, oh, that's my character. Uh, Elvis Presley or uh, oh gosh, what's his name from from No More Heroes? That guy, the Virgin Weavu. Ah, whatever. But, uh, honestly, I wouldn't trust the government back then, or especially now, with dangerous technology such as a race, a race via, uh, because, hey, we have the, we can dissect, dissect this technology, make weapons out of it, and turn uh, our people into super soldiers. Yeah, any country, honestly, should, uh, okay, well, I'm screwed, I guess. No country should have that power. As as Con as Kanye West said, uh, no one man should have all that power. Uh, but instead of one man, it's no one country or entity or anyone should have that power. Because honestly, imagine if any country, you know, North Korea, uh, uh, China, or Russia, even America, any of those that I I've mentioned, even Canada, probably. If they had that kind of power, can you just imagine? You know what they do. They try to make themselves super powered soldiers while making technology and weapons that can obliterate enemies, just literally evaporate them, as well as either weak them or whatever. They use their technology. With a race sphere, I'd imagine the US would try to make technology that would uh, severely weaken a person, probably. Oh, and then, uh, strengthen their own soldiers. I mean, it's it's a it's a joke that happens in you know, science fiction and stuff. I mean, just look at the uh, super so super <laughs> super soldier, the super soldier. You know, um, look at Captain America. You know, it's, it's a comic book. It's a joke, but at the same time, like, do you really think if? Uh, if we had the technology to do that, that we wouldn't do that, we would so do that. I don't know if I'm supposed to go over here. The answer is no, I'm not. I think I'm supposed to go all the way over there, which is absolute madness. Oh, okay, the vertigo's acting up. All right, <laughs> let's go. Oh, gosh, that... I don't think there's anything uh, this bad in the later games. Uh, but yeah, we would totally do something like that. Are you kidding me? In a freaking heartbeat. Cole has is braver than I will ever be. Uh, that was real, by the way. I'm absolutely terrified. You can tell because I sound more confident. Okay. I need to uh, stop going away. I'm gonna zoom in until you show your garbage trash face. I'm the garbage man. Uh, I throw garbage all over the ring and then I eat it. I eat garbage. Uh, 
No, we would. We would absolutely destroy it. So, uh, moral of the story, don't trust the government with super advanced technology. Instead, uh, oh, see you later. <laughs> loser. Oh, that guy is absolutely dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, we would absolutely... Oh, well, see ya. It's... Don't, don't. Just don't. Ab <laughs> Easiest conduit defeat ever. Never, never, never. Just absolutely destroy the technology. Get rid of it. Don't... Don't do anything with it except destroy it. You know, I really wish this never that happened. is the safest play. Nothing but a damn errand boy. Same as before. Going where people tell me, when they tell me. I'm starting to think that's never going to change. No way, man. Once we get that race fear, nobody will say as much as boo to either one of us. He can mark my words on that one. I hope you're right, Zeke. I really do. I hate this mission. I hate this climbing. It's making me freak out. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, did that glitch? Seek act of call. I don't know. I don't think he is. Instead, he's just staring at me. Alright, ready for the battle, I guess, of the big Goliath. Hey, it's right there. Alright. Uh, scratch my nose before this starts. What's the... No, I want to fight this guy before... I fight seek, but hey, I guess that's not the case here. Personally, I would love to use the race for to get superpowers. It's 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 a dream of mine to, to have superpowers, but oh, it's got a nice science fiction sound to it. I know you, both of you, locked me up like an animal, tied me that bed. Try to electrocute me. I showed you though. You and those pigs. Zeke, stay back there. When I give the word, you go for the race fear. I'll keep all of it with you. Must do this. I know why you're here. What you want? Nobody's taking a damn thing from me. I do appreciate how the enemies are difficult enough to where even some of the basic jobbers can take you out. But also, it's kind of BS <laughs> because you're supposed to get stronger along the way, and those basic jobbers are supposed to be absolutely nothing. Yeah, Zeke, buddy. Oh no! If only there was a way we could have predicted this monstrosity would be here. Oh wait, there was. Alright, activate your shield, stupid. This has been the best arena to fight this guy in so far, actually. Oh yeah, 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 do damage directly at him. Nice. I want to get the other arm before I deal with the other guys. Well, thank good. Thankfully for you, what? Well, uh, luckily for you, uh, the game won't progress until uh, we defeat this guy, or I defeat him rather. Get that. Get the... huh. All right. Well, yeah, sure, that makes sense. Oh, that power doesn't do anything. All right, guy. Yeah, just dodge roll. Out of the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. Destroyed enough of your garbage. You sh Come on, be visible to me. Alright. I forgot about this power. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's alright. You should use that more often against basic dudes. Just unload. Oh my gosh, how are you still not dead? Turning red, right? Is that just a trick of the light? No, no, you are. Just you keep zapping him. Hey, there he is. That should be at least 100 XP for that guy.
potential squandered, your father would have been so disappointed. You dare mention my father! I'll kill you, all of you! Tear you from limb to limb! Zeke, get out of here! Run! Zeke yanked the ray sphere out of its cradle and was caught between Alden and Kessler. It was definitely time to escape, but he just stood there, petrified. You see, through the fear, he realized that the key to his dreams, the tool to make him super-powered, was right between his hands. Asshole makes the choice to kill thousands, stealing their lives so that he'll be transformed, and then... Nothing. Everyone's fine. No change at all. Kessler's first to grasp the situation. Claims to know what's wrong. If Zeke brings him the Ray Sphere, Kessler will be able to give Zeke the powers he craves. My best friend looks me in the eye and then makes his second mistake. Alden goes ballistic at the loss of the sphere. The tower shakes and it starts to rip apart. But I was just dumbfounded. Barely felt the impact. I do trust. Or did, anyway. Well, you blew it. And now Alden's on a killing spree, and Kessler has the Ray Sphere. We need to resolve both situations. 63 seconds. I'm starting to think none of this is my problem. Maybe I should just let those two slug it out, and then swoop in and nab the sphere when the dust settles. What if one of them activates it and kills another 10,000 people in the process? And who the hell knows what that Moya person wants with it? No. This is the only way. 38 seconds. You'd better be serious about destroying it. I'm in no mood. You have my word. Alden's heading into the historic district. Catch up to him, take him out, and then look for Kessler. We'll be in touch. That, I'm pretty sure, marks the bridge battle. Oh, but spoilers there. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure we're closing in on the end, but, uh... I need to take a break, so you'll see what happens another time.